Okay, I think that's good. I'm just gonna avoid too much commentary for now and just fucking try to get back on track. With, I'm just gonna, you know, just try to get back on track with this fucking... I mean, hell, the last episode I... The last episode ended pretty much because I was focused on eating and didn't notice an enemy was killing until it was too late. Uh, okay. I should have been used to that, but I wasn't. That was us. I didn't notice that last time.
Xerxes is shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. Okay, so I guess remember how I mentioned you gotta backtrack a lot? This is actually like a lesson in that for this game. The way it basically works is this. The whole point right now is to get up to this chick on deck four. This deck is deck two, the med side deck, but basically the science. Bit. I mean, I mean, I mean the medical bit. Uh, to get to her, I need to use the elevator. The elevator has been shut off by this rogue AI Xerxes. To get the elevator on, I need to go down to deck one, which is the maintenance deck. But how do you do that when the elevator's on? Well, there is a maintenance shaft that goes down there. However, it's locked and the code is in the hands of someone who is in some kind of med side bay, and the code to get in there is held by someone else. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't watch the job or you'll set up the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to me. You know, death's pretty cheap considering you only need ten bucks to come back from the into life. Oh shit. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. Oh yeah, you get this lovely little game pig, which is pretty awesome. And if you want to hack it, you need, like, hack skill of six. <laughs> uh, I, won I always wondered what that did. Then I found out. <laughs> uh, that was... That was awesome. Yes, I can get that one. Wait, isn't that... Wasn't there a reach archer station where the turrets were? I have no idea where I'm going. Ship's kind of like a mess. I forgot that you could even do that. I forgot you could even charge your fucking psionic powers. I forgot all about that. Huh. Oh, don't get anything like that. What's this? What is that? I can't get in through 
Uh, okay, so this is the crew quarters, and I need to get in there. I just I think it's the music that plays me in hell. Or maybe it's just normal background music. I, I don't know. Okay. It's over here. Resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. Fourteen hundred. 
controls. So now I have the battery's charge, right? Where is it? I charge punch. Alright. This is what I need. Now to get to where I need to be. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. Nice. I think I should find one of the... Is that terminal even available? Yeah, I think it is, actually. Uh, let's, let's find it. This game always confused me for with one simple thing, and that was the color of these two bars. Saya is red, health is green. You'd expect it normally to be the other way around, but it's not, and that can confuse and that can easily get confusing. Let's see. Here we go. Research. Oh, here we go. Inventory capacity and the amount of damage you inflict in combat all armor. And some weapons have minimum strength requirement. Let's get moving. Let's keep moving to where we need to go. To the place we need to go. To the place we need to go. Is this the right way? Shh. 
assuming that's going to be really useful later on. with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shafts shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? Marie, I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. This mission should have been scrubbed before it left Earth. We've been unable to contain the reactant coolant leaks on Deck 1. I've put an order requiring hazard suits down there. I know you think this, this will cause a panic, but it's, but it's better than better than giving everybody radiation sickness, don't you think? I think the FPS really took a fucking shit there. That's what I think. Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and the latter proceeded to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence, and there is no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. Sadly, it is the latter, because the monkeys are smart. The item is not researched yet. That's actually what I was trying to... Right click. Oh, I don't need any chemicals to research it. I thought I did. I thought I would. Now, there are various things to research, mostly in as far mostly in the realm of analid related stuff and and like um, parts of analid creatures. Analyd weapons, uh... That's weird. Am I hearing a noise coming from the computer itself? Huh. Anyway... Research complete. You learn how best target the hybrid for maximum damage. All damage you can do. <coughs> DNA structure indicates that this organism is a hybrid of a human host and a parasitic organism. Although the parasite resembling a yard-long worm has deteriorated to a stage beyond useful analysis, the effects of the process are evident. Severe deterioration of higher-level mental processes is caused by tumorous growths along the spinal column and brain stem. The non-human tissues soon be formed of a composite of small worm-like creatures that have adapted into the host body and taken over a majority of motor control and decision-making functions. There, appe there also appears to be direct stimulation of the, aut uh, of the autonomic nervous and glandular systems. Hence, the organism produces ex ex exceptional amounts of both adrenaline and endorphins, making it remarkably strong and aggressive. What remains cannot, be, cannot really be called human at all. The damage done to the host by the process is irrevocable, and the organism now functions with no sense of morality or hesitation. The organism is vulnerable to the same forms of stimuli as a human. However, the changes in its 
physiology suggests a chemistry more complex than is currently understood. Further analysis of similar organisms might provide more insight in this area. Neat. Okay, so now I can... Oh, what's that? Awesome. Now I can do more damage to hybrids, I guess. What, how, whatever the hell they're called. Uh, my size not that high, but... I think I hit, I'm not sure if I said pre in, my, in the previous episode, but my saw si I really don't use saw si that much. Oh, shit! Oh, wow, that's gotta suck. Oh god! Alright. I've seen these before. Oh, crap. Uh. Ah. Die. I don't care what PETA says about you. You're evil. You and your monkey, you and your monkey way. Did I, did I hit it? What the hell is this? Like a piece of monkey brain. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already before, but... Oh shit, that's still... I said it before, but essentially I found psionics to be rather useless. Later on in the game, at found science to be useful later in the game. Good old fat because, um, I th I'm not sure if I've said this in the first episode, because it was like a few days ago, ba and I really have kind of terrible memory with things like this, but basically, <clears throat> you can't get everything in this game so to speak. You, you can't max out all your... You can do a lot. I will admit. Oh, it says. Cool. I admit, you can do a lot. I mean, I, I had so many skills maxed out by near the end game, but you can't do everything, unfortunately. So, but yeah, you can't do everything. And I found that relying on weapons was actually far easier than relying on psionics. Okay, so I, th I feel like I have a dead end here. What about a, what if, if I go up here? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Hey, anyone home? Mm, cool, now I can... Yay, now I can 
respawn. What's this? Overloading sign. Yeah, I found out the hard way. When you use a sign just when you can do one of three things. You can use it in normal power. You can overload and use it more no or you can burn out. Overloading will use this as you add levels. Uh, a sign stat too high than you actually do it, but it takes more time to use the normal and risk burnout. You might witness some strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. Potential threat detected. Potential threat detected. What? Oh, hell. Okay, this is bad. I didn't notice that camera. Um, I also don't know if I touched upon this, but if a camera detects you, then you will have an influx of enemies. Until it burns out, until the timer stops. Prospect of dying, even if it means respawning, doesn't appeal to me. Shit! No choice. Run. Run. Wait, I could have done that instead of wasting a fucking med high throw. Die. Die. He to be damned. Die. You are not friendly monkeys. Security alert terminated. Yay. I like that you only need like five bucks to heal your all your wounds. Are you okay? You also need like ten bucks to come back to life. Ow. Stop it. Oh yeah, as a side note, enemies actually quite regularly respawn. This is to... That, that one, that's one thing I loved about this game, actually, was... Enemies will keep respawning in the same general area as you. That is to say, the same map as you. Or, I mean, um, there's several levels to the, to the ship. And enemies will... Let me see here. I can't... You suck. Enemies will essentially spawn in the map. And in the same level of the ship that you are in. At regular intervals. No. <laughs> Screw you and your tiny hitboxes. This was something that I found great for this game, though, because it, in this sense, you... What the hell? In this sense, you don't necessarily have a fixed number of enemies to fight. It's not like if you play a game that you've played, like, five times, like, like a couple of times already, 
and you already know where every enemy is going to be. I don't think I'm going to want to be in here, am I? Nope. <laughs> I fell off the ladder. My dad. Well, hopefully they won't find me. Need to watch out. I don't want to use too many nanites, though. They become vital later on for, I think, uh, modifying and repairing things. And for, ha for hacking. They're, you literally use nanites for everything in the game. It's everything. So where was I even going? I think I was going towards the chemical. Security alert terminated. Oh shit. Okay, no, it wasn't necessary. Go back. Why do you persist in your loneliness? In case you know, wonder about why I'm so quiet, it's I, I, I really get into this shit, so I'm still I, I still don't understand. It was near the... It was definitely after this room. So... I have the most terrible sense of direction, by the way. Just to put that out there. Shit! Shit! Die! Die! Uh, it's broken. Great. I have a broken... Oh, shit. I have a broken shotgun. Oh, boy. No, you get back here. You are... Yeah, that's the, the annoying... Not going that way, then. The, uh, the annoying thing about that is... I, I guess to prevent you from gaining access to the shotgun too early, all shotguns pretty much acquired off of... Good work. 
Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. Ah, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um. I still don't know what sh that shit is. Uh, anyway. Wait, what was I saying? Oh, now I remember. Um, I'm terribly bad with direction, so... I kind of suck at figuring out where I am. And I tend to make stupid mistakes like that. I still down somewhere and look, and look at these things, but... Uh, maybe this will do. What? Oh, shit, yes. Gimme. <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm, that is awesome. Okay. Now, while we'll I have some peace and quiet in this secluded corner of the ship, let's look at the PDA. Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey is so... Hey, I can't raise anybody down in engineering. With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psy Annex. I think the access code is in Watts' lab. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? The interest of science? What about the interest of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? The poor chimps. They come on board for the most historic mission of all time, and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. Hmm. I don't think I have the Dr. Watts in the first part of that. I'll have to look around for it later. Right? Let's get moving. Is that the same damn turret? Crap. I was hoping to actually beat it. Oh well. This is probably the only point in the game where I actually use size, is when I don't have any ranged weapons to speak of, and I have no ri You seriously- it, you seriously start the game with nothing in the way of- Wait, okay, where is it? Here. You seriously start the, the game, fre a fresh game, with no skills learned. In the in the four weapon skills, the only weapon you can actually wield the, wield in the beginning of the game is the wrench, which is like the epitome of standard and requires no skills to use. That is seriously the only weapon you can wield in the beginning of the game. Okay, so that was the center. So I made a... Okay, so I've already explored every area to speak of. Yeah. What's this? Security station. Oh, uh, wait, what about this room? 
Well, I'd need an anti-rat hypo, sadly. Yeah, fuck it, let's go in. Wait, there's nothing in here. Oh, there's this. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Also, I need to, I need to upgrade my hack skill. Okay, so I've searched everywhere. Go, go, let's go back to the crew quarters. Yeah, I'm gonna need... I want, I'm gonna want to be prepared for this. Alright, let's get going. Onward. To victory. 